All right, here we go. We're not going to waste too much time with introductions or everything. Uh, but I will say a little bit about myself as far as, here we go. So this is an old game, so the file might be a little bit corrupted, but it'll work for what we want to do. Anyway, this is from my rookie year playing in Leb Oro, Spain. So that's the Spanish second division. And basically we were not a very good team this year. Um, it was my rookie year. I had, you know, rookie struggles and learned a lot, but um, I don't know. Looking back on it, it was a great experience. Uh, my coach definitely taught me how to play the professional game and yeah, I'm not in the game right now, but I will be shortly. And I do end up playing pretty well in this game. And this is against one of the better teams in the league this year. I think they were top five in the league for sure. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm originally from Wisconsin and uh, I went to, never got recruited out of high school, ended up going to a division three school in Michigan called Hope College. Uh, things didn't work out there. They put me on their JV team and I played about four minutes a game on their JV team. After that, I decided it was time to transfer and, uh, walked on at a division two Truman state university in Kirksville, Missouri. And then redshirted my first year coach said I earned a scholarship. And then three years later I was, uh, all American. And once I got on that list, I had an opportunity to play pro. Before this year in Spain, before the season started in Spain, I went to Australia for about three months, played out there, uh, a little like summer league thing. It wasn't too competitive, but it was a lot of fun to go down there, uh, made some good friends and definitely got a good introduction to professional basketball. Um, and then came here and the language barrier in Spain was definitely kicked my ass and, and had to learn a lot of new things, had to learn how to play this style of game and get used to the speed and everything. And uh, one thing that I remember about this year is, is our scheme for defending pick and rolls was very, very, very difficult. Uh, we had to read uh, so many different things and it was very, very complicated. And I just don't, it, it took me a while to catch up with it. And then, but then as I went on other teams I played for, I realized like exactly how complicated it was and that it wasn't necessarily, um, you know, I was in over my head, but it wasn't necessarily because I couldn't keep up with a professional system in that we were just, we just had a really complicated system. Um, simple is always better, but yeah. So the idea behind this channel is just to watch these old games and talk about them in detail and, and the way things progress and what I look at, uh, when I watch games and just kind of go over them and, and how I get better and that kind of stuff. Cause I think a lot of people, you know, they watch highlights. Uh, a lot of guys put up highlights. A lot of guys, you know, a lot of basketball YouTubers put up one v ones and stuff like that. And I mean, this stuff's cool. I enjoy watching it, but it's not real basketball at the end of the day. And uh, how did we get scored on here? Oh, messed up the switch. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, so I mean, this is. You know, I talk about, I, I watch a lot of film, um, but I, I think that's kind of a cliche thing to say. That's a really good fast break by them. Watch this, stay wide, stay spaced, instant extra pass. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'll, I see a lot of coaches on Twitter and stuff like that. And they're just like, yeah, watch film, watch film in the off season, but they don't really you know, learn how to get better, watch film, watch film. But I don't think a lot of young people know what that means, knows what that means. And it's hard because if you don't have someone who knows the game and who knows what little details to look for, it's just going to continue to be more of the same. Uh, not more of the same, but it's just, it's hard to learn and progress uh, if you don't got someone helping you out. So that's why, that's my idea here is I'm just going to go over myself. I'm going to, my goal when I watch film is to never be, uh, is, is to be hard on myself. Uh, 
but to never be so hard that it takes away my confidence. And, and there's kind of a balance between it. So I want to be honest with myself about what I struggle with. Another turnover. I think that's three turnovers in a row. Um, but yeah, I want to be honest with myself, but never to the point where it's like, I get so down on myself, so hard on myself that it's not, uh, it's not going to help me. I want to, I always want to, you know, think about being beneficial to myself when I watch films. So a big part of that, I, I believe is being honest and, and realistic with yourself. What are you doing well? What are you not doing well? And it's very, um, it can be a very, very useful tool if you use it the proper way. And I just don't think we have enough. This is my play right here. Flare screen for Zimmy, four man. And that was Alfredo. So I'm still not in the game yet. I'm still on the bench. Um, but yeah, no, film can be a very, very useful tool and helps. Yeah, I'm just trying to watch us defend these ball screens now. Good defense by Jakob. Oof, that's my guy, Ali Artiaga. I played with him about three years after this. He's a legend. Got a lot of respect for that guy. He does things the right way. Um, anyway. Young guys watching film, it's it's an important tool, but it's not everything. Like, you can look for certain things. The thing that's helped me the most uh, through watching a ton of film, gosh, we are getting lit up right now, is, is to be able to read and adjust to plays on the fly uh, during the actual course of a game. Because you can have a plan going into the game, but as every, anyone, any real basketball player knows or any coach knows, it's... You know, at some point it's all going to go bad. It's all going to get screwed up and you're going to have to make an adjustment. It might be in the middle of play. Okay, there we go. Number five. I'm in the game. Yeah, I'm the skinny white dude. And, uh, yeah, I'm about 6'9". I shoot well. I can't jump to save my life. Uh, I'm okay. I'm fast for my size. I, but, like, athletically, I'm not, I'm not anything special. Uh... Just good shooter, good with the ball. Ooh, they called a travel. Poor Alfredo. Okay. Come on, computer. Keep up. And yeah, no, I just I just figure out a, a way to make an impact and, and play the game the right way. So I'm sure I'll get some stupid fouls here and, and do some stuff, but this is all part of the process. Oh my gosh. We are getting lit up, lit up. So, um, for those who don't know, in typically in Europe, you're allowed to have two Americans. Uh, like I said, I'm not that strong. So this is just a veteran play by him. Like, how is he gonna get that ball and he still jumps? And I get the foul. I got a lot of fouls. I fouled out a lot of games. I only played like 20 minutes a game, maybe two. Anyway, so you get two Americans. And in Spain, the rule is you have to have at least four Spanish guys on your team, four Spanish nationals, and then everybody else can be from Europe or wherever. So two Americans and four Spanish nationals, and then whoever else you can get. So the other American that we have is the guy defending the ball right now. That's Alfredo. Um, he played NAIA. And he's been a pro this year, 2020 is I think his 13th or 14th year. And the guy who just scored, that's Jakob. He is uh, one of the best players I've ever played with. Uh, he, <coughs> he was, when he was 16, he was set to be like a prodigy. He's from the Czech Republic. And uh, so yeah, we're icing that ball screen but this is where we get messed up. This was our problem the entire year. So ice means, ice means the guy on the ball is going to get, uh, force this guy to not use the screen and force him to the baseline. And then I'm gonna sit on the baseline side, basically just not defend my guy. But the thing is our problem is on the weak side because our coach always wanted our big man, 
this guy right here to be the last one, but you see Ollie down here. He's, he's a smart player. He's gonna play the baseline. So then this guy just needs to create a little advantage and, and make a good decision. So as you see, as the play develops, so now we got a two on one here, but we get a little lost because Alfredo thinks he's gonna be the last guy and he's gonna help everybody. Jakob is gonna prepare to stunt right here or get back, but Alfredo thinks he's got the first pass because this guy's the last man. So we get a little messed up. One pass, stunt. Now there's a lot of space here. And he makes a good decision with the skip. That was a weakness of the, the ice, you know, two good passes. And I don't think we should have even stunted there because the guy I'm guarding, Arteaga, uh, is, or no, not Arteaga. What's his name? I can't remember. But yeah, anyway, we get on the board after an offensive rebound. Ortegi. Ortegi is this guy's name. Uh, kind of a, a personal rival of mine. Um, he's one of those guys that I just want to kick his ass every time I play against him, but I have a lot of respect for him as well because he's been doing this for a long time. He plays the game the right way, he plays hard. Um, anyway, so yeah, like I said, our defensive... Uh, our defensive schemes were really, really complicated. So sometimes we switch, sometimes we don't. Now we're switching. Now we're switching because I'm guarding a shooter, which isn't that weird. Uh, but it also depends on where on the floor the ball screen is set. I don't know, we just had to set so many reads. This, this game was also six years ago, so I, I might talk over myself and might get a little messed up on exactly what we were doing, but it wasn't, uh, wasn't easy to execute. It wasn't easy to get all five guys on the same page because the system was just too complicated. Travel. Yeah, you can't do a spin move. It's just classic Spanish basketball. But I mean, you see here, this is just rookie Mike being rookie Mike. So, so at the elbow, on the pass, I cut down. Not a bad spot. But this is where, this is where you can tell I'm a rookie. Because look at our spacing on the weak side. Trying to flare screen, trying to do this. We're standing all together. We end up getting a decent shot because Jakob makes a good pass, but our spacing on the weak side should have been better. So, yeah, like I said, I'm guarding a shooter now. I don't know what kind of play they're doing. Um, See, I was late and low with that bump. Like now, okay. So I'm supposed to, I'm I'm supposed to hit the roll man when he comes down, but ideally I want to do it above the free throw line. But also it kind of depends where my my man is. So right here, now I stay with him. Now I'm watching this guy, which isn't terrible. But you see Jose right here. Maybe I can release. As soon as he goes up in the air like this, I need to start getting back because I need to trust this guy is going to, if it he dumps it off to the big man here, he has it. So I'm, I'm a step late to get out there, but luckily he misses. Another foul on a rebound. Okay, this was... This was our go-to play of screen everybody and screen, 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 and we end up with high pick and roll. But you see, this is young Mike being young Mike again. Right here, right here. This pick and roll, I need to, I need to get more to the corner to give him more space because if he rejects this screen and I'm in the corner, now it's, now this guy's put under pressure, but this high, now he can only kind of use the screen and he, I mean, I'm just in the way, basically. I need to give him more space. I get to the corner eventually, but not quick enough. Because my job, my job at the four, I'm not setting the ball screen, especially as a shooter, is to, uh, to give my PG more options, to let him make plays. Another foul. 
Is that on me or Gala? I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, okay, this is the way I get the flare screen now. Flare screen play. Jakob just takes advantage. Because my man couldn't help. So I remember my rookie year. I used to watch this. Just... We scramble out of it, but that. That's my fault there. I mean, well, maybe not. Because Gala decides to go under, which I think is the wrong play, because the guy he's guarding is a shooter. He's a good player. I forget who he is, but I know he played in the G League. So I step out just for a second because to help, but it's kind of an overcommitment. And I give this up, and luckily we, we scramble out of it, but they still get the ball deep, kick it out, have an advantage. I mean, that's a tough shot, but still, for good players, it's not that hard. But that's what good teams will do over in Europe. You know, they try to create a small advantage, and then Jakob's just carving these guys up. But try to create a small advantage, extra pass, extra pass, and then attack. So... Anytime there's a there's a 2v1 or or we have to overhelp in the paint or anything like that. So we're down 12. Oops. Uh, this is the first possession of the second quarter. Oh, this is this is our to get into diamond action here, which is just a lot of running around not accomplishing anything. But I do a good job of filling in. My guy kind of got lost and we get a 3 out of it. So um, <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> Lack of ball pressure. That is an absolute dime. This is where, this is where professional defense is a little different. In college, you know, everyone says like, go over, go over. You got to do what we're doing. But sometimes you got to make a read. And I should have helped out a little bit. Um, yeah, no. That's a money shot for Senor Jose. Go back. Good. But I like this on the weak side. They run pick and roll. I think they run it. We get, yeah, we get some weak side action. I set a down screen. Jakob rejects the screen. Big man has to help. Step up into his jumper right there. That's from his spot. See me, oh, like, this isn't bad. But it's just, it's just me getting off balance with this right here. Okay, cool. You make him pick it up. I make him pick it up. He's kind of stuck right now. If he has to shoot that, that's a tough shot. But I need to do a better job of recovering because, look, wide open. My guy's a shooter. He's over two right now, but it's kind of because we're getting lucky, not, not because I'm playing great defense. There you go. I toss up a brick. Get beat on the offensive rebound. Oops, sorry. Tough. Tough. That's what these guys do, though. They make you pay for small, small advantages. See, I don't like this play a whole lot. 
Because I should go to the corner and then fill, not come up through the middle like I do. I mean, Jose ends up knocking it down, but I kind of clog the ball handler up there and he can't really do much. I should either stay on the baseline or, or go to the ball side corner. Um, See, Jakob had to go crazy for this. Because this is just me being stupid, me not understanding. I'm trying to be all physical and stay spaced. And like, I'm in a good spot right now. Just stay on, put some pressure on the ball. Jakob will go under me. But no, I decided to right here, back up. Oh no, get through. And I screen him too. So now he has to get through like three screens instead of just two. Luckily that guy Smokey the Bears, that layup. But I mean, that's just, that's just... Amateur. Amateur hour. Whoo! Old oh, man, Jose. A couple years ago, he probably would have dunked that, but now, you know, he's had a couple kids. Knees aren't quite what they were. Once again, so I've done this three times now, and this dude is just baiting me into it. This overhelping here. So that's an easy pass. This guy, this guy Juan, he knows this is a shooter. So he has to close out hard. Maybe he should have gotten more here, but still I put, I put him in a tough spot. So pass, extra pass, three points. Because I'm, I'm 0 for 3 swiping and trying to steal the ball on that. I'm not deceptive at all. Um, not using my hands well enough and just out of position off balance and my teammates are trying to help me but I'm basically screwing them and the turnover but either way keep playing I'm mad I thought I got fouled there but whatever So this is my fault again. Like if I'm really putting pressure on the ball, this is too easy of a catch. First of all, off a simple zipper. Like I need to have ball pressure on this guy right now. He's not gonna dribble. He's just allowed to make that easy pass. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Juan making hustle plays. We end up getting a three. So like, okay, I've made I've made a couple shots, but I got a turnover and I've given up probably, I don't know, at least eight points on the defensive end. My fault. Here we go again. Same thing. Off balance swipe at the ball. See what what I remember about my rookie year is I was just trying to do the right thing all the time. And I wasn't making plays. I wasn't being deceptive. I wasn't being crafty, especially defensively. Oh yeah, I like this one. See ya. Cause that's that's where I create my advantage. Um, like I knew I struggled defensively, but like that's why I had to make plays like this. You know. And I'm not going to jump over anybody, but um, guys go under under flare screens on me. I got to make them pay. Uh, I mean, I, I knew that going in. And I'm not I'm not a great communicator on defense either at this point in my career. Now I'm much better. But uh, OK, down seven. Oops. Don't want to go back that far. OK, here we go. Um, cause part of it was I was new to the European game. I didn't really know what was going on. The other part was the system that we had was, was very, very complicated. But at the end of the day, it really wasn't. I just didn't understand what coach was trying to teach us because I didn't have enough experience. You know, I was coming from a college system where we, we played the pack line in college, which is very set defense, very, uh, rigid in its rules and you go here then this then this then this and there's you know it's very clear x y if x then y then z 
Watch this. Watch this little awesome turnaround. Shot clock's going down. I'm like, no, give me the ball, bro. Whoop. Air ball. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to pick up another foul there. They, one thing they do here is, like, a lot of times in Europe, in this type of situation, it's foul. You just foul. But I already had two fouls, so I was just worried about getting back, and Shama makes a huge play. Um, but yeah, no, coach Coach would try to explain to me what he wanted, but his English wasn't the best, and I just couldn't couldn't comprehend it because I, I, needed, I needed to see an example of it, and I needed to go through it slowly and experience because that's, that's really how I needed to learn. And uh, I wanted to, but I just... I needed more experience, really, at the end of the day. I was a, I was a pretty slow learner, um, especially on the defensive and ball. Offensively, I mean, it was, it was... I struggled to shoot the ball the first couple months, um, but the second part of the year, I figured it out. This is an intentional foul on him. So this is another thing I hate about Europe. This is pretty normal. Okay, he gets beat, foul. Now, now so now I get two shots on the ball. Power through free throws. Free throws don't help anybody get any better. Well, that's not true. Make your free throws, but when you're watching film, don't watch free throws. Save yourself those precious seconds. Okay, so here we go. We're running this play again. I think we ran it about 16 times. Something ridiculous like that. But it really, it's really tough to defend because we have it timed up where the Alfredo's coming to get the handoff. Alfredo's this guy right here. And he's coming to get the handoff from me. So he has to go, his defender has to go through a down screen. And then Gala here is going to screen the five man. So this guy can't help. This guy needs to get through this screen. My guy can't help uh, because it's he's going to leave me open over here on the side where we have all this space. And so I kind of set a little brush screen. You see, Chama setting a, a flare screen for me, Gala setting a back screen, and there's a gap right there because my man can't help after the handoff. And Alfredo does a good job of reading that. They recover decently, but he still gets two. It's a great play. It was, it was, we had to work on the timing quite a bit, but once we got it down, it really ended up working for us. So this is me trying to do the right thing, but just with no, no sense. Okay. I know this guy wants to post me up. I know it. So he comes down here. I say, no, I'm not going to leave post up. Now, this is where I mess up. Okay. Now I'm chasing him, but I still want to be aggressive. I want to make him catch it out, out here. Not on the three point line. I want to make him catch it out here. So I lunge way out of position. And now he's got me on the back door. And it ends up, this guy luckily sees it, goes to make a play. Now, if I go back here, I'm long enough where I can stay, my body can stay in between this guy and the basket, and I can just force him to catch out here. If I make him make this aggressive, like, come out here and make this aggressive backup, but my body is right there, he can't go anywhere, and I can still force him to catch deep instead of here lunging and getting out of position. But that's one thing, if you if you wanna pressure the ball and you don't want your guy to catch the ball, but you're also scared of uh, getting it back door, you gotta know, when if the other team catches the ball well enough outside of the three-point line, that's sometimes that's good enough. You know, that messes them up enough. And you don't wanna give up a back door cut you know, because if you're pressuring a guy out here, he's got all this space to go and he's got a head of steam, it's likely going to be a foul or a basket. Just keep your body in between uh, your man and the hoop, but like, don't let him go back door with your body, if that makes sense. And this stuff like this won't happen, even though I don't think that's really a foul. But either way, you can see where my defense is just, sometimes I have the right idea, 
but I'm just doing it the wrong way. And what it does is it hurts my teeth. I had, a, I had a lot to learn. I still have a lot to learn. Okay. Same play, going right back to it. My guy stays with, see how that happens? He had to make a read there. So he knew, he knew the last possession, Alfredo, Alfredo's the guy with the ball, he attacked. So my guy loads to the ball for a second. Jose headhunts him. This guy luckily screens him because he didn't want to get beat. This guy didn't want to get beat like he did last time either. And Alfredo sees that they're clogging the paint. Look, all five guys in the paint. Skip. Bang. All timing. It's all because of timing and execution. From all five guys being in the right spot at the right time. Never, ever, 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 ever do this. Never, ever, ever, ever. He's guarding a shooter. Alfredo's there. This guy's here. If this guy's going to go all the way to the rack and score, he's going to have to score over two guys. But don't bail him out. I mean, this is, this is catch and shoot for anybody. Bang. But that's the kind of mistakes we made as a team. We had a, long, a lot of young defenders like that. Um, I mean, you've seen I'm, I'm probably one of the bigger culprits, and that's why we struggled. It's definitely part of the reason why we struggled. Just couldn't, couldn't put it together on this end of the floor. And the other thing that, that hurt us too is like, because our defense was bad, it didn't create any opportunities in transition for us. Once again, me not respecting the back door cut. Okay. Back one more. I'm trying to swipe at the ball again. I want to steal. This guy's a smart player. He knows it. He sees my head is turned at the ball. Back door cut. Now he has to overhelp. I back up. Easy pitch. We just get lucky. You're lucky. I get beat on the offensive rebound. Skip. Foul. See, that's what they want to do. They want to foul. They want to stop any transition anything that they got going on because why not? I mean, you got five fouls a quarter or four fouls for free before the other team's shooting free throws. Oh yeah, fired up there again. Timeout. Okay. Timeout, timeout, timeout. This looks like I'm going to screw up again here. That's fake pressure, fake pressure, fake pressure. Ball comes back. Hmm. See, okay, this is this is this is rookie Mike versus now Mike. Right now, I would be able to see this. Okay, Jose's in great position on the top side, not letting this entry pass go in. I know this guy's helping. This guy's helping the lob. This guy will have these two passes. I need to be one step higher one step higher and not let him catch make him catch a little bit out here so this pass needs to have more time because boom boom layup those are i mean those are the things that just kill you just absolutely kill you but we're running the same exact play they're switching it now <laughs> Foul on the screen. Who you get him? I bet he murdered him. Let's see. 
Oh, I don't know about that one. Hey, okay, what are you gonna do? Urko Ortegi, that's this guy's name. I finally remembered it. All right, you're gonna see this. This is a common theme for us as well. The way Coach wanted us to guard these exit screens to watch pass. He wanted, uh, so our guard is guarding this guy right here and this little exit screen. So this guy's gonna come down and screen for him. He wants him to go over and this guy to get on the top side of this guy and push him down, ideally. Sometimes it works well. Like if, the only thing is it only works if the screener is already low. If the screener is high like he is right now, and these two guys get jumbled up anyway, but he has to take such a wide route that this guy is going to see it and he can just flare a little bit. Once again, no ball pressure from me. So this guy can just throw an absolute dime. Bang. So it's a combination of getting jumbled up underneath the basket, uh, a poor scheme, and no ball pressure by me. Another foul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's a good example of this. This is this is one of the best things I learned from my from my rookie year. So we're gonna turn the ball over. This is what all young big men need to do. Okay. Our big, I'm the other big. Five, four balls right there. So he's gonna go. Can't even see. Okay. You can kind of see. So I'm between my ball and the my my guy in the basket right now. So I don't have to worry about him sprinting down. I got him in view. Now I gotta help, I gotta help my guard stop the ball. And he does a nice job of picking the guy full court just to slow him down a little bit. But you see, he thought about going this way and I was there, so he pulls it back out and that buys us enough time to get set. So now they don't have any fast break. But the idea is to, to to help your guards stop the basketball. Ooh, did I get a hand on that? Probably fouled the hell out of him. Anyway, another foul in transition. Smart basketball, man. Unless we're in the bonus, that's stupid basketball. Doesn't look like it. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Oh my gosh. Another foul. Another foul. Okay, more free throws. Come on. More subs, more free throws. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, okay. Great defense without fouling. Good job, boys. All right. Let's see if we can score, huh? So they're playing a little zone now. I think that's a stupid mistake. Yeah. Three points for us. got to be why do we have a foul to give okay good foul good foul Alex Alejandro so this is poor scouting by me this is very poor this is rookie Mike this guy is going to go right-handed 89.9% .9 of the time. Why don't I just sit on his right hand? I don't know. Got kind of lucky. Okay, second half.
Okay. So I'm back out of the game right now. So the guy who's in for me, uh, Zimmy, this guy right here, is crazy athletic. Crazy athletic. Good player. Uh, I definitely shoot it better than him, but I have uh, not nearly as strong, can't jump nearly as high, can't, can't do any of can't do anything like what? Does he dunk this one? Wouldn't surprise me if he did dunk that one. He did it a couple times during the year. Where you're just like, does Zimmy have the ball? Because you can't see there's so many guys under the basket, and then all of a sudden he just explodes out of nowhere and just dunks on everybody. But yeah, I haven't seen the score. We'll live with that. We'll live with that. When in doubt, load to the ball, stop the layup, run them off the three-point line. It's kind of the, the basic strategy. Oh! Unlucky. Classic white guy fast break with the finger roll alley-oop. Yeah, that's one thing I always had to tell uh, my new teammates at the beginning of the year. Because I show up and I'm pretty tall. And they're like, okay, Mike, if you go here, we'll throw you an alley-oop. And I'm just like, no, no. Like, no alley-oops. In six years of being a pro, I bet I have, like, I don't know, 15 dunks, maybe. All, I would say, 80% of them are left foot, right hand. Basic. Just get the ball sneakily above the rim. I mean, I don't mind him going under that. But, I mean, that is kind of that dude shot, even though he banks it in. I remember a couple of years ago we played him and our coaches were like getting ready. I was like, I played this guy a bunch and I just let him shoot from like 18 feet, like slightly semi-contested. And we ended up winning the game by like nine and that dude went like one for nine. They call a foul. Oh boy, I'm back in the game. Coach is not happy with Zimmert. Yeah, <laughs> cause he just hit that little bank shot. So that's why, that's why coach put me in the game. Come on, Alfredo. Great camera work. You see, very professional. Um, very, very efficient. We got the score, we got the time. We know everything that's going on. Lack of ball pressure by young Michael. Layup. Ugh. As you can see, there's a theme with me. No ball pressure. I think part of the thing was playing the pack line in college. Uh, it's kind of like we kind of accept, okay, there we go. Making a hustle play. We kind of accept the fact that like we're really slow and not good at one-on-one -on -one defense on the ball. So as a result, we need to, uh, need to all pack it in and help each other. So I was like very scared to get beat off the ball basically I don't go for a lot of offensive rebounds see so this is great point guard play by Jakob it's so subtle he doesn't get an assist but he's he's he knows he's going to pass the ball this is Jakob he knows he's going to pass the ball to Jose but he waits till Jose gets in a spot where he can just catch and shoot so that means an extra dribble and a bounce pass. And that's Jose's shot. I mean, you saw him hit one in the first half, but that time, no. Okay, as you can see here, this is, I mean, this isn't anything, but at the same time, the ball's here. I know my guy's right here, and I'm just looking at the ball. I know I'm not going to let him drive to the middle. At loading to the ball. I have to sell out again, but I get a good hand. Kind of got lucky, but not really. I do have good hands on defense, sometimes. Not in the first half, but. <laughs> so yeah, that was another thing. So we just wasted like three or four passes on the perimeter and we didn't really get anywhere. 
or do anything. Mm. Where are you going, Michael? Come here. L1. No, no foul. See, that was rookie, Michael. I'll take that foul. I'll take that foul. I was out of position. He beat me. Okay, yeah, we get a guy who's shooting free throws. I don't want to skip ahead too far. Jeez, Louise, how long do you take to shoot some free throws here, guy? Up. Once again, I don't like this play. I don't like it just because, like, me coming up, me coming up through here, like, there's nowhere where, for Alfredo to go. Look, they got one, two, three, four guys right there. Literally, the only thing he can do is pass to me. Taking away options from your ball handler just is never... Nice, made the free throw. <sighs> what am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? Lack of ball pressure. Lack of ball pressure. You can just throw it on a dime to wherever he wants. 100% my fault. 100%. I'm just being an idiot. Come on, camera. Okay. Off balance, nothing doing with that one. Okay. Yeah, this, see to me, I, I take a lot of pride in this. Um, not in this missed layup, but I think I'm convinced this is a reason why I still have a, a, a job. Because yeah, I do something bad. I'm on the baseline right now, and they're starting a fast break, but I know my job is to load to the ball. I know my guy, my guy is still here. I see I see a lot of guys, they, they make a bad play like that, they miss a layup, they start complaining for a foul, they just kind of start trotting back. That's not really my mentality. So you can't see right now, but right here. I know my man is way back here. I can help load to the ball and stop this guy from doing anything. doesn't really matter they score anyway but um that's one of those little things that that uh is a good habit and i think uh i'm convinced i'm convinced it's still it's one of the reasons why i still have a job I'm still able to play it's not the main reason i'm a good basketball player that's, that's probably the main reason um but it doesn't help that i do that that kind of stuff a lot doesn't hurt that I do that kind of stuff a lot. Switch, are we gonna switch? Nope, one step show. Another ball screen, another one step show. Wow, wow. Good job, Clavijo. This is defense right here, boys. Look at this. Get through, recover. One step show, swing, other ball screen, show, recover, he helps, he helps, he helps, I rotate over. Tough shot, tough shot, great rotation. And you get a crappy shot at the other end. But it doesn't matter, that was great defense. It wasn't perfect, no, but everyone's effort and everyone's rotations were solid. No one overhelped and made a, forced him into a tough shot. Finally, I get a steal. Oh, don't do it to him. Ugh, watch my feet here. I knew this one was gonna be short. Watch me, not on my toes at all. 
jump straight up, not forward. No rotation in my hips. A little bit, but not much. Short as hell. Ah. Oh well, what are you going to do? What are we going to do? All right, blue? They're not executing that well. <laughs> I say that, the guy just jacks it from 35. <laughs> oh, okay, Jose. See, this is this is Mike being stupid again. I would I'm in no man's land right now. I would get my butt out to the three-point line, right? You know, cuz I'm I'm playing defense on him as well. I mean, it works out for me in the end, but I made the, his shot that much tougher by taking away his space. All right, a couple substitutions. All right. See, this is what I want to avoid. Now I'm a bit stronger, so this isn't that big of a deal. I can I can stop it, but back then I just get moved. I just get a little buoyed, put under the rim. <sighs> That's what good teams will do. That's what good players will do. You see, I got you know I got a kind of a little fu in my game as well. It's the same play that we ran 50 times in the first half. Time for me to be aggressive. All right. What did I say about free throws? Skip them. All right, I wish we could know the score. It's only... Mike. Mike. Pressure the... Ball. Pressure the ball. Pressure the ball. Get your hands up. How many backdoor passes has my guy thrown? That have led to fouls or baskets? Yeah, this is one of the games I thought I played well, but watching it again, I am horrendously bad on defense. Okay, Gala? Where are you running to, Mike? Good. Get your butt outside the three-point line. Oh, we're running the set. See, this is, I mean, I'll just say this. I don't need to really rewind. But one of the biggest problems that we had is we, we never got anything out of transition. So we get a block shot and we're running a half court set, you know. And, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's not terrible basketball, but at the same time, you got to get some easy baskets. you got to find a way to get some easy baskets throughout the course of the game. And one of the best ways to do that is transition. A mismatch over help, but I know my guy's not a shooter. I say that, he's not a shooter, he's just cashed that one out. But you guys witnessed him bank one in earlier, so I'm I'm still gonna stick by uh, what I know, what the scouting report said, even though he just put that one in our face. All right, Gala just hit one. Throw it to Jose, one-on-one -on -one in the post, automatic. Oh! Bad transition defense. Okay, Zimmy's back in the game. Now we need defensive. Defensive presence, as they say. Oh, don't die, computer. Why is this game taking so long? Usually I can shoot through a game in an hour. Oh yeah, I did go back a lot and talk about things. All right, anyway, I don't want this to be over now. We got about five minutes left. We're gonna, hang on, what did that say? Okay, we're down to starting the fourth quarter. Okay, we'll, 
We'll shoot ahead to the end ish. Let's see if we can get a score check. Okay, tie game, 430 left. Yeah, I don't I don't want these videos to be more than an hour, guys. I don't, I don't think, usually I can shoot through a game in about an hour. I guess, you know, uh, I went back a little bit too much, but that's okay, it's okay. Another foul. Good switch by me and Gala. That was definitely an and one. Okay, we're down two. Let's see what we do now. So they're going small. Good screen. Boom. We're up one. See, they're going small. They're still trying to post the guy that I've been guarding. They're trying to post Ortega up. Grab that. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Smart. Smart, smart. But, like, we aren't even really looking for anything out of transition, which is half of the problem. Okay, Jose. It's his shot, man. All right, we're up three. So I think yeah, I think I think our plan for the for the rest of this game is just to play two man game between Alfredo and Jose. Which we just got two points out of. We might run a set for some suitors every once in a while, but my job uh, for this team late in the game was to Woo! just to run the floor, space the floor. Let's go! And he got fouled. Dang, Alfredo. So this is how you rotate. This guy is 100% a shooter. Alfredo maybe sells out, but makes it put him on the deck. Great hands. Phenomenal hands. He, he always had hands like that. He hits him, but look at him. <laughs> I love it, Alfredo. I love it. Okay, they call timeout. Oh, what happened? Technical? Oh, yes. Jakob. Wait, hand. And we get the ball? Okay. Forget at what point we're at, so I'm not gonna say how much. We're up right now. Let's see, we're up one, we're up three. Gala hit a three, Jose two, Alfredo three. So we're up one, up three, up six, up seven. Yep, same play for Alfredo and Jose. Phenomenal. Great patience, great awareness to find his guy. Fortunately, it doesn't go in. Let's see, defense is crucial right now. We're switching at this point late in the game. Oh, Mike, you dummy. Unless we're not in the bonus. Are we in the bonus? I think we're in bonus. All right. Okay. This is another thing about European basketball. Can you see the mop that they're using right here? These, those are not for sweat. Those are for dust. They're not to pick up sweat. Give these kids a towel. Make their jobs easier. Have them get on the floor and wipe it over the towel. Stop using these stupid brooms that are meant to clear the dust from the floor. Stop using them to pick up sweat, please. It's just a bad look for everybody. Okay. Would have been nice during that little break so it showed us, oh my gosh. Don't tell me this is just gonna turn into a foul fest 8,000. Oof, oof. Oof, he almost made that. What are we running now? 
That's a play for me. Okay, we like this though. I got the five man on me. We got the four man on Jose. I just space out and get the ball inside or Gala just jacks it up from 35 feet. Wait, they got a foul on me there? I hate this. Yeah, I got a bunch of fouls like that. That's not, I don't even know how you can call that a foul. Either way, what were we up, seven? Seven. Oh, you're my guy, but make some free throws. Six. All right, we're gonna run it down. Yep, same play for Alfredo and Jose. We'll ring around the rosy, down screen from me. Oh, I had him on the seal. Ah, uh, picked up his dribble too soon. Mmm. Mmm. Time out by then. Show us some score. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. This will be the last possession of the video. Just because it's for sure going to turn it. Okay, so Zimmy and I are and we go small. Because we want to switch everything. We don't want to give up any threes here. Mike, you dummy. That's the worst thing I could do. Give up an easy end one. Ugh. Yeah, go sit your stupid ass on the bench. It's better for everybody. Okay, I lied. This is not going to be the last possession of the video. Eating clock. Okay, Jakub. I'm gonna assume you make those. Oh, apparently missed one. So coach just saw what a disaster I was on defense, and he's like, "Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go a little bit bigger now. You zoom me in there. Still give up points. Time out to check the ball. Oh." Oh, okay. Four point game. Ay, ay, ay. What a disaster. What a disaster. Am I in? No, I'm not in. Throw it to Zimmy. They do not need a foul. They have plenty of time. Come on, Jakob, make a play. I forget what happens here. Not a foul from them. The Spanish, the fans want a foul. Fans want another foul. Fans want three fouls. Alfredo's wide open. Ooh! <laughs> Let's go. That's so tough. All right, now it's foul fast. Now it's foul fast. Now it's foul fast. Long three. Offense. Okay, Fredo says no. Another three. Brick. Let's go. Ball game, baby. All right. Good for the first video. We'll see you guys next time.